Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I want to share, you know, I've, I've been thinking a lot about, um, well, maybe not a lot, but I, I just about the transgenderism and, and, the, and the, you know, Pride Month and just all the madness that's going on. And, and you know, like even I had to talk to my wife about, um, you know, like, hey, we're not going to be shopping at Target anymore. Um, so... You know, and then there's all this stuff with Bud Light and, and all that, you know, which which we didn't drink Bud Light anyways. But um, so, but, you know, I just thinking about these things and I think about it, it's like, what's changed? You know what I mean? And and like, how is it so crazy nowadays? You know what I mean? And, it, and it's important as a Christian not just to focus on like once and like homosexuality and transgenderism, which really is like rooted in like lawlessness. It's saying that I can do whatever I want with my body. And, and you know what, like, obviously, you know, we can't stop people from doing that. Right. Um, but we have to allow, we have to tell people like the truth is you can choose death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You can do whatever you want with your body and your life, but you can also go to hell. You know what I mean? Like, so, so it's important to bring balance to everything. Like, yeah, God allows us to have free will and freedom to choose, but he also allows us to choose death and destruction and hell. Um, he doesn't want us to choose it. He wants us to choose life. He wants to give us life, but he'll allow us to choose death. And as I think about that, though, that, um, you know, even like, in the last days, it says godlessness shall abound. And it even says lawlessness will abound. This, what we're seeing now is lawlessness. And really, to me, what this, you know, like the, you know, people will be like, well, if I'm born this way, whatever, you know, like just imagine, just think about this, you know, just, I don't know what side you're on, but, you know, would God condemn somebody who was born homosexual or, or whatever? And, and it's like, look, um, we're all having to deny ourselves of lots of things, right? Like whatever you're born and, and your struggle is, you have to overcome it. Like whether it's, uh, you know, addiction or, or, you know, alcoholism or, or whatever, you know what I mean? If you're angry, if you're born an angry person, if you're born an anxious person, if you're born a depressed person, you know, like whatever it is that you're born, you have to overcome those things in the spirit and you can't just like cave to it and be like oh this is just who i am no you have to be born again and you have to overcome and you have to um deny yourself okay we, we can christianity can never lose sight of the cross because we have to realize that we have to die to ourselves whatever we're born uh we must be born again Okay, so let's just get that off the thing. Like, okay, I don't care if you were born gay. You have to be born again and not be gay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's, it is what it is. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I just, you know, this has just been on my heart. And it's not anything, you know, it's not anything bad. Like, and also, like, think about this. So what if somebody's born a pedophile? or a rapist, or a murderer, you know what I mean, like, at what point do you draw the line, oh, well, they were born this way, okay, well, fine, uh, well, this person was born attracted to six-year-old little girls, or six-year-old little boys, or three-year-old, or ten-year-old, like, they were born that way, should we just let them, should we just let them do that, you know what I mean, like, it's, there's, there's, you got to draw the line, okay? That's why it's important for us. We, we, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. God has created us a certain way, male and female, to where we can, and he says, be fruitful and multiply and procreate and fill the earth and have sexual, uh, you know, have sex and, and be fruitful and multiply. And you know what I mean? Like he the the, the natural law and order that God has set is for a male to be with a female. That's why males cannot reproduce on their own and females cannot reproduce on their own. A female, you know, even though she can get um, pregnant with a semen without a male having sex with her, like we have this 
you know, whatever we do these days, but there still is a male involved because they have to have a semen, right? You know what I mean? They would not have any semen without a male, period. So if there was only two women left on the earth, there would be no body left. There would be no hope. If there was only two men left on the earth, there would be no hope because they would never be able to reproduce. Okay, so that being said, as, as we go forward, um, you know, Romans chapter 1, and I'm not even going to read it. Just You can read this yourself. But I believe, you know, in starting in 26, it's for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, men, leaving the natural use of women, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense which was me. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So it's very important that we understand that this is contrary to God. There is no place for this in the kingdom of heaven, homosexuality, transgenderism, but it's also, this is God's wrath. God gave, for this cause, God gave them up unto uh, affections. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, because they did not honor God as God, and they were ungrateful. So God, in his wrath and punishment towards them, gave them up over to vile affections for each other. Okay, the, the madness that we see, this is the beginning of God's wrath being poured out on mankind, where their hearts are being hardened and... And they're giving, and God's giving them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So we have to be um, in prayer. The times are evil, uh, very evil. I heard about this woman um, who was getting sued by her husband because uh, she was allowed, you know, her, her six year old son was. Uh, she was putting him through this transgender stuff and and whatever, man. And it was just like, man, that breaks my heart. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy, you know. But we got to, we can't lose heart. We got to stay strong. We can't start caving because it's, it's so wild. We got to, look, we got to stay true to God's word. Um, and just to the fact that, you know, God made us male and female, that's how, that's his design. That's his law. And anything contrary to that is lawlessness. And, and let's, let's keep it straight, right? In love, but just also being firm about God's word. Amen.